Hey guys, I hope you are doing good today. Um, I know some of you have been asking about me and um, I'm sorry I haven't been around. I know you guys like some encouragement and I uh, understand that and I'm trying to trying to be there for you right now. So um, something interesting happened. So I wanted to show you that I saw today. Um, okay, so... I know a lot of us think, you know, people are talking about Passover was in March. We were watching March and many are saying, no, it's in April. But what's interesting is that either way you look at it, the second Passover is in April if the first was in March. Now, uh, Numbers 9.9 9 talks about um, when God told Moses, you know, there were some who couldn't make it to the first Passover. So he made, uh, basically he said, if those who were unclean, maybe they touched a dead person or something, they had to go, uh, God made a way of provision to go to a second Passover if they couldn't make the first. So you have the concept of second chance, which is to me is very much like the reason the Gentiles uh, were given the gospel of grace was because the is the children of Israel, they missed their first chance. They did not recognize the Messiah when he came. It's so kind of like, so now here's your second chance. And then, uh, and then God brought the Gentiles in and the dispensation of grace that we're in right now. And so, so this is interesting because it's, to me, it's symbolic of second chance. And, uh, so, um, the rapture is definitely uh, a chance to um, come to 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 make uh, make it to heaven, and so those who have still rejected the Messiah, the true Messiah Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamashiach, you know, there's they still have another chance. So anyway. If you want to read it, it's Numbers 9-9. Nine, nine. I have to kind of hurry, though, because this will cut me off after five minutes, just so you know. What's interesting, look at this, is that the second Passover, or maybe it's the first, but if it's the second, anyway, either way, look at it. It's on April 26th and 27th, starting the night of April 26th. Second Passover, 26th. Why is that interesting? Because this is what I noticed today in Matthew 26, chapter 26, okay, chapter 26, verse 26, okay, and 27. <clears throat> As they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and broke it, and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. Look what he says in verse 27. He's eating with them, they have wine, he said, but I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until the, that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. That's us. That's when he's going to drink with us at the wedding. He's going to be drinking wine. And that what was the first miracle he did? He turned water into wine at the wedding of Cana on the third day. That is our wine wedding symbol. It's his first miracle. And He's talking about he's not going to see us again or drink again. Not going to drink this wine until he's with us. Is he referring to being with us at Passover, the second Passover? Is that what he means by the wine, drinking it with us again? It very well could be a clue. <clears throat> the other thing that could be a clue, if you've been following me with the whole thing with Bo Nose, the horse Bo, I can't re-explain re it now, but on Nisan 10, when Jesus comes into Jerusalem on the donkey, I cannot help but wonder, is the donkey symbolic of what is Bo, the horse, symbolic pointing to Passover because of the donkey connection? I've often wondered that, and I think it could be very much the case. And it could be pointing to the second Passover.